Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mokliver and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in a mod I've yet to play on this channel, and that's Red World. And because I've never played this before, we're going to begin with the Soviet Union, which we're going to leave historical AI focuses on because I have no idea what's going to happen in this campaign. No idea everything's going to be set to normal. I guess we have the 30th Party Congress at, oh, 2010 elections. Wow, this is, uh, I don't know that much about this mod to be honest, but uh, the mods we're using is Red World, the fan fork version. Uh, colored events, stations for toolmod, as well as the peace conferences. As you, if you didn't know, this was originally made by Kaiser 1871, who unfortunately passed away. So this is for you, Tom. And uh, yeah. So like I said, I don't know much about this mod, but apparently, what if the Soviet Union won the Cold War and America like became crippled and disunited? So all we can do is the Polit Politburo debate. The Politburo of the Soviet Union is in constant debate about a variety of issues, from the economy to foreign policy. Chairman Yezov's erratic decisions have thrown the government or the governing body into chaos. It is now believed that if there is continued irrelevant debating, and Yezov's unusual policies continue, the entire national government government could collapse. And we have our flag here, led by Dmitry Yazov, who I don't know honestly that much about, but I'll probably learn a lot more about him when I actually play TNO. So, it is 2010, he's probably, he, it says in 1941 he signed up to for the Great Patriotic War at the age of 17, so... See what happens. We don't have. Oh, well, actually, we've got a lot of guys. Holy bad words. Oh, what is this? Tanks? Yeah, like, as you can see, I have no idea what's going to happen. No idea. 2010, let's get some AK 103s. Well, I'm not sure that's an AK. Or a Kalashnikov, but okay. Ah, do the tried and true modern assembly line. Let's see. We'll grab some basic construction tools. And let's grab some modern internets. Nice. All right, industry-wise, oh no, no, Ooh, what is this? Research center, more research capabilities, oh, what is, oh, how does this work? Does, I'm gonna assume the high, the lighter green means more infrastructure, so, yeah, let's assume that, because I don't, I, like I said, I have no idea what's gonna happen, oh my goodness, there's nothing on the lines here, uh, post-Cold War equipment, support equipment, APCs sound like fun, 2006 artillery, Anti-air, we'll throw some on there. Anti-tank, we might need that, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Light tanks, uh, let's make both, because we can probably use them as support companies. Fighters, which looks a little outdated. Uh, these fighters look really outdated if it's 2010. Whatever, naval UCAV, naval bombers, cool. Carrier naval bombers, drones. Um, I'm not sure what drones are for. Is that just for spy planes, or? Is this ground attack 3.0? Maybe we'll make some, I don't know. Let's make sure we got plenty of guns going first. Plenty of guns, get three on there. Armor personnel is not bad. Lots of artillery, because I like artillery. That's one, one. Leave five on, leave two on, leave five, leave five. Oh, actually, leave, eh, leave two. Leave five, and then leave five, and then two. There you go. Good enough, and ships. Oh my goodness, I should've done this off screen, but whatever. Uh, nope, 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 nope. Nope, 2010 cruisers. Well, carriers and light cruisers are the way to go, I guess, for now. Yeah. Subs, subs A. That'd be alright. Ooh. Submarine 2s? Is this submarine 2s? Uh, it looks like it is submarine 2s, so. Goodbye. Cool. My apologies for taking this long. I, I, I literally have no idea what's going to happen in this mod. So, there we go. Cool. I don't think there's anything left to do, except make it maybe a few divisions. <clears throat> Infantry training units. Now, this is a very bizarre way of making these guys. Okay, then. Artillery Brigade. Artillery only when? I don't know when. Uh, reconnaissance, Mountain. I don't know what to make. I'm going to make some base infantry, maybe. Uh, let's make it six divisions. Motorized rifles. Let's make two of these. And we'll make some tanks, which don't look too terrible. Airborne. Uh, I'm not really sure if I really want to use Airborne in this campaign. I'm not really sure if I want to do that or not. Why do we have cavalry on those divisions? Spetsnaz? Actually, those are better. Uh, and I'm like four. Okay, cool. Let's, let's, let's let time go on and just kind of see what happens. Decisions? Oh my. What the heck? History of the 50s? I mean, I guess I could show you this stuff. Yeah, if you want to read about this, go right ahead because I don't want to read through all this. So if you would like to, go right ahead since we'll probably have other events in the game. So interesting, interesting, interesting. Uh, the rise of Malenkov and Beria? Interesting. Oh, they look kind of chubby, don't they? All right. <clears throat> New oh, that's a solid, of course. New socialist platform. Oh, it's a central committee. Okay, interesting. 
And it'll be the, the space speech from 1958. Looking a little chunky. Maybe clean this here a little bit more, maybe. Do we have any nuclear reactors? Uh, we're not producing any nuclear bombs, that's disappointing. And the 59 coup attempt. Was unex was an attempt was unsuccessful. Was led by Nikita Khrushchev. Oh boy, interesting. History of the 60s, uh, Shanghai Summit, of course. Wow, Balding Mao. That's a very stern face over there, interesting. Followed up with the Cuban Missile Crisis of 1961. Alright. And then the 63 Economic Report. Oh yeah, you build that little car. And the Bulletin Bureau Reorganization of 64. Lots of men meeting. The 2010 Olympic Winter Olympics. How great! The time has come. Uh, let's see, which is currently being ch choked by a war for the 2016 uh, summer, summer Olympics. Oh, huh, okay. Beria's coup in 1964. Seems like there's a lot of red things going on here. Ooh! Who is it? The Red, Na red Napoleon. Alright. The Great Freeze between for nine years. No faction wins the convention. And Ethiopia, huh? Okay. Well, alright, whatever. Interesting. Chapel of the Tablet destroyed. Oh boy, that's not good. Oh, Yazov assassinated tear in the streets of Leningrad. As Chairman Yazov was attending a state tour of the recently opened European Liberation Museum, one of his supposedly loyal guards opened fire on the head of state, killing him almost instantly. As the rogue bodyguard was terminated by his colleagues, the other Politburo members rushed to Yazov's aid and side, only to see the bloody mess that was until the moment the most powerful person in the world. As the news quickly spread across the Union and the world, millions are now in shock, only to wonder then who will take charge of the strongest nation on the planet. We salute you, comrade. Oh boy. And Gaddafi's treasure resigns. Okay, then. And we did the Great Freeze. The Tashkent Earthquake. There we go. If you like to read about that, go right ahead. Interesting. And elections of the chairman. If you want to read about the White House or Mental Asylum. Wow. Well, that's not very good. As the position of the most powerful person in the world is now open, the Politburo must select a new chairman. From the hardline faction, head of the KGB, Vladimir Putin, has gained support from those wishing to spread communism around the world through violent means. Gennady Zegunov, Yazov's second-in-command and essentially groomed to become the late chairman's successor, wishes to continue his predecessor's legacy of peaceful strengthening of the Union. <clears throat> Alexander Rudskoy has announced his candidacy for the top job, calling for extensive economic reforms but few political changes. However, after the death of the chairman, former Politburo member in exile Mikhail Gorbachev announced to the world that he would be that he would push to be allowed back in the USSR. If this is permitted, he could be the put the Union on a path to total political and economic reform. Alright, so this is my first campaign, and I've got to go with the more Mimi path with Daddy Vladi Putrino. Cool. And surprise, Detente in 1974. Cool, if you want to read about this, go right ahead. Interesting. Tunisian Communist Party purge. Well, that doesn't sound very nice of them. Why did you do that? Spetsnaz. We have a lot. Oh, wow, that was a lot of motorized. Princess Diana was being killed, and. Well, she lived longer than this timeline, I guess. Right? Probably. Terrible. Max planning, more attack. I like attacking. And Putin has been elected. I just had to do it, man. I just had to do it. Andre, so if you like to read about Putin, he leads the Union forward. Well, I guess there's not much to read about him. Alright, so... How are we going to do this? Assassinate Gorbachev. Wow, okay. Gorbachev has become a danger to the Soviet Union's security. Take him out. Very descriptive. And the funeral for her. Rest in peace. Alright, very cool. Well, maybe not for her to... You know, she's dead now, but whatever. Sergei Karaskov. Oh, modern internet. Oh, yeah, cool. Let's grab the protected networks. That'd be awesome. And then, even... Oh, my gosh, even more. Are these guys different than these guys? Oh, they are. Oh, these guys are the normal motorized. The garbage motorized versus the Chad regular motorized. Oh, they actually do have anti-tank on them. Well... I guess we can all be Spetsnaz today. If we're going to use those guys, we've got to go all out and be the best. I don't trust any people. Rising Eagle. Mustafa Abdul Jalil assassinated. Alright, well, whatever. And if you want to read about this, go right ahead. I've never heard of this fantasy. Tell me more. Cool. Um, oh, I haven't even touched the Navy yet. God dang it. 
Uh, a story spanning the globe's entirety, the book has received acclaim from the critics for both its riveting narrative and intriguing look at an alternative history so different to ours. In the past, Macmillan has restricted his novels to single locations, preferring storylines localized in eerie cabins or isolated places, but Rising Eagle takes readers on a new adventure throughout Spain, still devastated by ethnic war, the corrupt and tyrannical South American Union, and various horrifying warlord territories in the deepest jungles of Africa. Despite his critical acclaim, this critical acclaim, however, negative reviews for the novel also come from and around critics on both sides of the Atlantic. The author's think tank of Boston released a preliminary report on Macmillan's latest work, blasting the Irish worker or writer for gross exaggerations of capitalist success and his belief that in any world Vietnam would be won by the South, let alone an imperial restoration and reunified country. Less politically motivated critics instead suggested that the narrative itself consists of countless plot holes, in particular when Curran reveals the true assassin of President Baldwin, but never how he obtained his information. An interesting read, but not exactly realistic. Well, whatever. And because we're the okay, I thought we had a bigger. Na what happened to her, the Navy? Why do we have only five ships? Maybe I should have read everything. We would probably have known about what happened then. But I wanted to move us a, a little bit more forward and to see what this mod has in store for. I really don't know what this mod has for us. So, like I said before, really have no idea. So, uh, capital ship armor. Hundreds of Libyan protesters killed. Well, it's a good thing we don't live in Libya. Could this lead to civil war? Meh. We'll see. Go in and train until you die. Another sub? There you go. There you go. Cool. So, we have the modern assembly line done, and this is our... Wow. Warsaw Pact is looking pretty nice. We have all of you with us. Except Yugoslavia. Yugoslavia, son. Missile Civic. Son, please. Uh, basic industrial robots. This gives you more benefits, so I like more benefits. And let's grab some fuel storage, because we can. I might be missing a thing here, too, but I have no idea. Poles, Cold War equipment. Ah, modern equipment feels good, doesn't it? Feels very good. So where do I put you guys? Mayday attack. Uh, the People's Commonwealth has been attacked at the heart of its biggest city. Four nine in the morning, a hijacked aircraft from Chicago collided with Tower One of the NEC, bringing with it a terrifying explosion of fire and debris. As New York's waking populace stood with shock and horror, the sad jumping workers in flames engulfed every floor near the observation deck. It didn't, it didn't take long for a second speeding jet to hit Tower Two. <clears throat> At this point, the world had tuned into breaking news of a terrorist attack on American soil, the first on the scale in history. But then, almost an hour later, all of these watching must have been gasped, gasped simultaneously at the most horrific thing to, see, to be seen on TV. Tower 1 came crumbling down on top of itself, killing a thousand within and too many below the building, already struggling to escape the flames that had almost trapped them within their offices. Minutes later, Tower 2 fell to a demise in a similar fashion, tipping over almost at the very end, colliding with a nearby building. Okay. <laughs> That's all just okay at the end? Oh, well, alright then. Oh, you didn't look at the, the Air Force yet either. So, we have a bunch- we just have a mess. I'm just gonna call this a mess. I'm not a big fan of paratroopers. Not- not a huge fan. Mmm, we'll see. And you guys are just straight-up tanks, so yeah. Arab Islamic generals resigned. Well, okay. Oh, look at that political power, not good. Um, Far-right claims responsibility death of Gorbachev. Since he has attempted- Arrest in the 80s, Gorbachev has remained in exile for decades since the Soviet government has tried to determine his location and either bring him back for trial or save time and assassinate him. However, these attempts have become fruitless, with reports suggesting the KGB quit the operation years ago. Instead, there's been a completely unexpected turn of events in the city of Chicago. After receiving reports of gunshots, the local police discovered Gorbachev had just committed suicide through two shots in the back of the head. <laughs> the aging former politician had been living in this inner city apartment for years now, unknown to the Chicago authorities, and especially hidden among any Soviet spies. A truly unfortunate end, comrade. If you'd like to read about the far right, I guess, go right ahead. The <clears throat> White American Liberation Front Torino. Um, okay. Alright, cool, whatever. And, so, is there anything else we can do on the left yet? No, we need to complete a lot of stuff here first. And on the right, no. So we gotta do, cooperate with the Nationalists. Total KGB control, we get more, plus .5 political power. Why not? Before assuming the office of chairman, Vladimir Putin was the head of the KGB and still believes that the service should be strengthened even more with greater power over dis dissidents within the Soviet Union. Well, we'll see what happens. Alright, you guys go ahead and train and make yourselves better because we need some army XP. Because I don't like this. Tunisia declares independence. Well, okay. I don't care. Probably. I probably don't care. That's not, it's not terrible. It's just not great. Infantry training units. Yeah, we're making these guys. They're just not that great either. I honestly probably prefer these ones, artillery brigades. Uh, good. Uh, um, what are we missing here? Liberals in Baida Revolt. Wow, we're missing so much. Holy cow. Let's see. Engineering. Let's grab some reinforced right. Of course, that's pretty good. General Haftar Revolts. Okay. 
I'm not sure. I have a good feeling we probably don't like China that much. But I could be wrong. I could be very wrong about that one. Libyan Communist Revolts. Oh, Libyan Syndicalist Revolt. Okay. Uh, Davis re-elected as UAPR General Secretary. Um, I like the way Germany looks, sort of. I like. I really like the unification here. I think that's pretty nice. All right. Well, whatever. Um. Yeah, we still need. We just need so much equipment. Holy cow! Way more APCs. Way more. Pretty much everything here. Holy smokerinos! Light tanks are okay. Planes are doing okay as well. Ships. We could work on refugees arriving in Sicily. Is it just once or twice? Okay. Oh, is this supposed to mimic like the Syrian refugee crisis? Holy crap! How many ways does Libya fall apart? And this is a generic focus tree, so. Um. Oh, Gaddafi. Can I play as Gaddafi? I guess technically, yes, you can, but no unique focus tree. Oh, Gaddafi. What do they do to our man right there? Fuel storage is nice. Let's grab some synthetic oil experiments, maybe. You guys, paratroopers. Oh, I'm just going to convert you. I don't I don't really want these paratroopers in this campaign, I'll be honest. Let's go and do that. There you go. Head on over there. And some tankerinos. Thank you. And who's going to lead the tanks? Andre UAR dissolves one player in the Middle Eastern theater. There goes any chance of... Oh, okay. Ooh. What is this? Oh, the Palestinian Confederation? Oh, is it... There's no Jewish state? Oh man. Oh well, that's fine. And of course, I'm... So after the America lost the Cold War, we have this. A giant mess in America. But then again, America is usually pretty messy. Depending on who you ask. Anyways. And the trade unions? more Less consumer goods, more construction speed? I kinda like that. Less division training time, more population, less factory output, and more military factory construction speed. Let's end the trade unions. Putin's predecessor allowed some trade unions to flourish, but with almost complete state control. However, they have hindered economic growth and influenced the political bureau for far too long. The trade unions must end. Is there anything else here unique? No, there's not. Who as an American, this looks terribly messy. And actually, we barely get any political power, or army XP, I should say, every day. How much political power do we get? One? Okay. The Libyan Union has capitulated. Well, goodbye. Okay. So we have the American People's Commonwealth under Noam Chomsky. Well. Okay, those guys. Do they have a unique focus tree? They do. So I might play as Noam Chomsky someday, maybe. See what happens. However, I would really like to know why. I mean, that makes sense. Chicago will fall under. And is this Aurora? Yeah. Indiana going in with these guys? Even Ohio? Even West, what? West Virginia went with the Northeast? Man, the U.S. must have collapsed extremely hard. Maybe I should have read the lore a little bit more. I probably should have read the lore a little bit more. Screw it. Uh, I'm just going to convert you to motorized. I don't want to make these divisions anymore. I want these ones. My bad. Whatever. And we'll talk about planes later. So, okay, so what happened to Missouri? They lost Chicago, but they took over all of Missouri. How? Why? And who is Steven Weber? <laughs> who is that? So we have the Northeast. We got Greater Illinois without Chicago. We've got Melissa Hortman in the Great Lakes Republic, which has the Upper Peninsula of Michigan and Upper Mitten. It leads to a refugee crisis. Well, welcome to the real world. All of Wisconsin, uh, most of, not all, but most of Minnesota, and all, all, almost Iowa? What? What? And then we have the Midwest Union, humiliated Queen Elizabeth, huh? Intriguing. Why don't they have all of Colorado? No, New Colorado. Colorado, Kansas makes sense. We got some technology. We have Nebraska, which makes sense. All of the Dakota, South Dakota. Now it's called East Dakota. Man, I, I, mm, I, if you guys could help me like learn about all the stuff that's happened in the comments below, I would greatly appreciate it. I, I know 2010 was probably a weird year for a lot of us, but I am... I'm not even looking at this stuff. Call an election. I am... Oh, look. He looks kind of sad. Why is he so sad? Putin, why are you sad? Hmm... Wait. Hmm... Um, who do we want? I want someone who gives me more political power, but then again, I want a researcher. National campaign? 
Support the Libs, the Conservatives, Centrists, New Democrats, Moderate Socialists. Defense, Attack. Well, I like those options, but I'm going to go with Early Mobilization. Yeah, we want to build more. Oh, there it goes. Look at that fuel. It just went out instantly. Oh, it's so nice. But America, like, holy bad words. What the heck happened? Well, I'm not sure, like... Okay, it collapsed, but it collapsed this hard where Dakota gets more territory, but North Dakota loses some with the Mon Who the heck is Harold Covington? The Freedom Alliance? <laughs> uh, I'm not sure what to say about this. It looks like a generic focus tree. Oh my goodness. Alright, so next up, let's go and do monitor work. Alright, some output could be really beneficial for us right now. All Soviet citizens must work diligently for the state because we need 10% more output to help us with all of our bread. The Union of America's American People's Republic declared war on Cascadia. Hold, what? What the heck? A Soviet foothold in America takes a blow. Uh, Cascadia. Greg Walden. Do you have a unique focus tree? Oh, yeah, they do. Hello. Stop. Is that Jill Stein? Is that Stein's plan? Oh, I can't click on that. No, no, that's not Stein. That's, that can't be Jill Stein, right? Because S S S T E I N instead of S T I N E. I don't know. Richardson's economic plan. Well, uh, I don't know. And of course, we have oh, this Angela Davis here. Communist Californian, uh, Oregon, Washington area. Huh. Implementing the three year plan, centralized state, female recruitment campaign, Vegas manufacturing, American isolation, immigration, failing economy, <laughs> standing firm. All right. Oh, I got to play as Commie California, basically, then. Okay, cool. And then we have the Union of Lincoln under... <clears throat> if I remember correctly, this guy named Richard Spencer, Richard B. Spencer, is a certain dude who who likes stuff. Oh, he's a National Bolshevik. Okay. Oh, man. if Why can't Richard Spencer have his own unique focus tree? <laughs> and the Mormons, well, they took over part of Nevada. Support for democracy grows. Governors in the Commonwealth. Okay. Liberal Democrats win snap election. Uh, Bernie Sanders speech in Boston on justice, inequality, and political concentration, huh? Mike Leavitt. Well, I guess I suppose he's a Mormon, I guess? I don't know. Of course, we already saw Colorado and the Midwest Union under this dude. And then we have... Wait. Is it just Arizona? Why is Arizona... Why is nothing happened to Arizona? They're just completely just... They're just hanging out. Are you the next... You're a social union liberal. If you ought to read about him, go right ahead. Um, okay. Next up, we shall do... End of the reformists. Rapid military expansion. We can do that one a little later. Incorporate the nationalists. I don't want to lose political power, really. Wait, so many places do no, no longer a core. Prioritize Ukraine. What the heck? Cooperate with nationalists? I don't want to do that. And the reformists. Our assassination of Gorbachev dealt a major blow to the traitors reformists both within and without our borders. Now the time has come to end them once and for all. What? Why is Arizona so independent? And we have Texas here too, and they don't have a unique focus tree, but... Texas? Oh, Rick... I almost said Rick Scott. Rick Perry. Huh. Oh, Texas doesn't have a unique focus tree. Oh, that's sad. So we got Rick Scott here. Rick Perry, Rick Scott. I don't know who it is. Some Rick guy. Rick P. And we have the American Republic. Un oh my gosh. Uh, where's that exclamation mark? Jeb, standing firm. Is this... B blessed or cursed? I, hmm. I have so many mixed emotions on this mod already. What? I don't even... Hmm. I'm really not sure what to think about this. <laughs> ah, motion detection devices would be nice, though. Alright, anything else here? Military police would be nice. We're probably going to need some military police. Happy 2011, everyone! At this time, I'm still in high school. Jesus, 2011? I'm not going back right now. Uh, 70s, yeah, nothing else really here. We're still building up more civilian factories, so we'll get a massive industry, which is nice. And the reformists, the next technology will be done soon, but... I like Texas is in a bit why why does Mexico I mean it's one thing maybe they want to take out some you know new Mexican territory and such like that do they have unique focus tree no yes no maybe no not really I don't think they do maybe maybe they don't maybe, maybe it is no foreign affairs 
Push for pack? Push for the league? Man, maybe not. It seems pretty generic to me. But, why? Why would you ruin your board? You even took parts of Southern Texas? Could you just not leave that, leave that alone? I mean, this is disgusting. Who? What? Why? Why? Well, Cuba still exists. We probably like them. Central America. Ah, I, I like this. I like this a lot. Was that supposed to help these guys? I don't know. Wait, can I help you guys? I want to get involved. Uh, no. Yes. You, for some reason, I thought that was Jeb Bush there for some reason. Ooh. Revolutionary Socialist. Well, we, we kind of like you. We can send four divisions. Maybe I should send some help. I don't want to send all tanks, so... Two... Plus two... Sometimes... Well... Equals four. Now, this might not be a good idea to send it, some tanks into literal Libya. But we'll see what happens. Now, and I guess we're already 25 minutes into this video. We might as well check out what type of airports that we... We've already made 19 ships. Wow. Most are subs, but whatever. Air overview? Well, this is garbage. Well, I'm glad I didn't really look then. Alrighty. Actually, how many planes can we send? 65. That's fine. Split in half. There you go. Now, both of you guys, you gotta do that eventually. Send you down here. Help out. Armored cards would be nice. Happy 2011, like I said earlier. Alright, what do we got? Um. Well, I'm going to go Mobile Warfare, because it seems like we got a lot of tanks and motorized, so let's grab some of this, modern construction tools, and grab some more output, because output is pretty good, right? Output is pretty good. 2006 light tanks, get some more light tanks. What do we have here? Armored cars? Yes, we'll need that for resistance, probably. Very nice. Uh, Desaligan assassinated, and the reformist. Ugh. The Reformist Purge. Gorbachev's escape from the Soviet Union was predi predicted to be the end of the reformism within the Soviet Union, as we know it. But still to this day, members of his radical faction were found to be operating at the highest level of the Soviet administration. Past leaders of the situation continue, but Chairman Putin has had enough of the traitors within the ranks. Last night, the KGB rounded up all well-known Gorbachev collaborators and radicals throughout the Soviet Union, while the Chairman himself made a proclamation to the whole world. If anyone wants to bring us down, there will be heck to pay. Good riddance. Good. Good. Riddance. Now we do this ra rapid military expansion. All right, we have grown too comfortable with the new Soviet war, world order, and allowed our military to drop in size, fighting quality. This must be reversed before it's too late. Well, our guys made it to Libya. Somehow they made it all the way to the inner side of Libya, not even through the ports or you know, through, maybe maybe they drove all the way through here. But it seems like a pretty hot place to be. But Alexander Cheko, good luck with this. You're gonna need it. Uh, let's do that. Thank you. And do we have a field marshal? Yeah, Valery Gerasimov. Why not? Do your thing, Gallery. And did we... Oh. Are you, did, we, did we lose an airbase down here already? We already lost here. Are you kidding me? Guys. Guys. Why did you lose the airbase already? Yeah, this is a bad idea, sending in these guys. Oof. Alright, good luck. Sending in one group at a time. To do the job that... Okay, they died. Nice. Can you beat these guys up? These guys are starving for supplies, hopefully. Very good. Can we do this? Oh, uh, Alexander, do they have any... Ooh, combined. I'm gonna go with combined for this campaign. Why not? Try it out. And... Oh, man. Attrition. Or... Sanders appointed to committee. Okay. Why not? Oh, there you go. This was such a bad idea, sending tanks down here. Uh, okay, that looks a little better for these guys. I'm going to send you guys down here, maybe? Oh god, it's so bad. Oh, now I'll attack again. They're, uh, they're, they're not cut, quite cut off, but it's getting close. Oh, come on, man. Oof. Oh yeah, that was definitely a bad idea sending tanks down to Libya. What was I thinking? I wasn't. Um, Cascadia has capitulated. Goodbye, Cascadia. Goodbye. Well, how about these guys? They don't have logistics, so I'll replace this. Oh, we don't have... Hmm. Can I convert this guy to something? Uh, infantry? I want something speedy still. Crown Council returns. All right. Well, whatever.
Maybe we can encircle these guys, that'd be kind of good. Actually, what's their speed right now? At this point, you might as well just convert to something else. Supply use? These guys use way less supply. You know what, screw it, we're switching this over to an infantry division. They actually take way less supply. And heck, you might even be faster. Okay, we just got our guys encircled. God dang it, what the heck. I don't like this, I should never get involved in Libya. Then again, I think a lot of governments should probably say that if they ever got involved. Can we go straight for just Tripoli? Could that work? William and Kate Mary? Okay. Huh. TV audiences speak to 26.3 million viewers. Wow. What a waste of time. <laughs> well, good luck, guys. God dang it, trying to catch these... Oh my god, we're completely out of organization. Yeah, I should not have got involved in here. Such a bad idea. But hey, it's my first time playing this mod. Well, you live and learn, I guess. This is my problem with Hoi 4. If it, you need organization to move, but... The American... Okay. Come on, cut him off, cut him off, cut him off. Good, come on. Nice, there we go. Move in to kill those guys then. Okay, you got some organization. Go straight to Tripoli. Get out of here. Yeah, I'm not sure these guys are going to be able to win. They... Ooh. Rapid military expansion, and they'll do dev devotion to the state. The Soviet people have lost way, believing less and less in the state's ultimate power, but soon they will be devoted to the glorious government of the Soviet Union and its chairman, Vladimir Putin. More, way more political power, division recovery, stability, and war support, and also, I already went to partial mobilization. Because we could. Because we could. There we go, that's good. Help beat him up. That's nice, thank goodness. We have been slightly successful here, I would say, today so far. Supplies are so god awful, but as long as Tripoli is completely undefended. Oh no. Okay, I thought they lost all organization again. Oh, you got you are actually looking okay. You can go over there maybe. Come on. Oh, come on. How are they faster than us? What? Oh, they're gonna circle this and kill this division off. This is so stupid. Head up there, head up there, get a Tripoli. Oh, you're both going that way? Cool. Cool. You go that way. Go go directly to Tripoli. See what happens. Well, the AI is a little smarter. It's actually going to kill our division off, maybe. Seriously? Well, yeah, whatever. Let's keep them in place for now. Oh, they did kill that division off. Wow. The AI is actually maybe a little smarter than in this mod. Well, we'll see what happens. You guys head on over there. If I lose these divisions, I don't really care at this point. Look how divided this place is, though. Holy cow. Logistics, please. Thank you. Well, we're getting a Tripoli. Keep them in place while the tanks get up there. Come on. That's why I don't send all the tank divisions. They're all motorized divisions. There you go. Oh, we're getting attacked. And they can't come in. Nope. They have another capital. Oh, my goodness. Benghazi. Oh. Hey! Oh, look. The Great Lebanese Republic. All right then, we we we're fairly successful. Nice. Just gonna do whatever. I'm gonna have you guys just do the same thing you've been doing the entire time. So, just please don't die too much too hard. There we go. Wait, why is Benghazi the army combined? What what the heck is going on here? Oh, you're a puppet, huh? Okay, well, um, where's the capital? Um. I hope it's north, because I'm going through the southern portions right now. Um, I'm actually trying to cut these people off, too, so that's my main goal. Al Jagbub, or Jagbub. Oh, we got some more political power. I guess we have anything here. Research Institute of Fine Technology. Additional concern. That seems okay. Well, we are using a lot of tanks. Ooh, I like this one a lot. What about over here? Army offense, defense. Eh, I'd rather just go with war economy for now. 
After devotion to the state, we'll probably do establish a cult of personality. While leaders in the past have somewhat established cults of personality, the legacy of Stalin has really been at the forefront of Soviet politics since his death. As cult lingers, but for now it is time for Putin to rise up as a true leader of all Soviet peoples. Sure, why not? Why does he look so sad? Why did what did you do to Vladdy? I will continue to refer uh, to Stalin as Vladdy Daddy, if I have to. Automated management, cool, cool. Let's grab some of this. That'd be nice. And what about planes? Are we doing okay on planes? Let me get some better carrier fighters, but we're friendly carriers, so I guess that makes sense. Uh, Ship-wise, we probably have a buttload of. Yep, I thought so. We're doing really, really well on the on naval XP, which is good. See, I can win civil war, so I just lose divisions in the meantime. Oh, that's not good. Texas was annexed. Goodbye, Texas. Well, I'm feeling pretty good about this war so far. Maybe it'll go as well as I hoped it would, but hey, not too bad. We need more anti-tank and more artillery, or no, anti-tank. And and anti air. Anti tank, anti air. We just need more stuff, period. Let's go with three. And I'll let, me, let you go down to five. Oh, we have way more of that. Mobile warfare. Cool, cool, cool. Let's grab some delay doctrine. I think it'd be quite ideal for us, you know. Seriously, is that the capital or not? Because I don't see any other capital around here. And we're doing fairly well. Has uh, Alexander learned anything? Is he becoming a desert fox, maybe? That's good. And Valerie. Ooh. 2011 English riots. All right. Okay. Well, whatever. Uh, let's grab some recovery rate. I, we could really recover quite a bit quicker. Man, we're really lacking here, which is not good. Uh, okay. So what do these tanks use? Maybe we should re realize, realize what they're doing. Armored personnel carriers and main battle tanks. So we need way more APCs. Um, we still need more tanks too. So let's go to three for now. Let's go to one actually. It'd be all right. Go to one and go, and that'll be okay too. Transitional government in Ethiopia on the way to democracy? Sure, why not? And at this point, let's go ahead and start building up some... At least one more military factory, because we could really use them right now. What are we doing down here? Uh, I mean, I guess technically anyone involved in this conflict could ask the same thing. What are we doing fighting a stupid civil war in... <laughs> of all places, Libya. To destabilize the region, that's why. And cause problems for everyone else. Oh, don't tell me I just got myself encircled several times over. Oh, crap. Uh, I need you guys to get them down here, right down here. Famine in Ethiopia, well, sounds bad to be Ethiopian then. Ah, uh, another division gone, that feels pretty good. Come on, kill him off. Good. Keep following him. Actually, we can probably put our planes back here now, right? Yes. There we go. Now that's much better. And we have you guys here. You know what? You can go ahead and train. These guys, let's grab some... I guess drones are the cast, huh? We don't have that much air XP, but then again, the, our guys literally just showed up here. Alright, it's a logical code of personality. Oh, maintain the path for more stability, or reverse the movement in which we could eventually get some stuff down here. Solidify our grip over Europe. Is there anything else we do yet? No, there's not. Oh, yes, yes there is. Stagnating economy. Our economy is stagnating. Urgent policies must be put forward to counter this worrying stagnation. And yeah, normally I agree with that, yeah. I'm not saying I'm disagreeing with it right now, but we'll see what happens. Now, oh, well, all this political power doesn't mean too much. Limit exports, please, because... Actually, maybe we shouldn't have done that. Ah, whatever. Are we mobilizing more? We've got two million. Not bad. That's pretty good. Ooh, good. Uh, drones? Oh, wait, we have... No, that's Cass. So... Oh, we are... oh, so drones are just tactical bombers, basically. Okay, that makes more sense, then. Okay, not bad, not bad. Learning the mod as best as I can. You guys head over here and do that, do that, do that. Very good, very good. 
And what are you doing? You are causing problems for everyone around here. Alright, not bad. Hey, we got a whole one air XP. Not too shabby, I'd say. Ah, uh, this is this really ruined our armor divisions. <laughs> oh my goodness. Intelligence agency. Well, I guess we have enough command power to do so. Command power. Uh, civilian factories, so we might as well, right? It wouldn't be a proper Soviet Union playthrough without a good KGB, right? Okay, enough infantry equipment now. That's nice. It's good. At this point, I'm just gonna let these guys roam the deserts of Libya because who doesn't want to do that in their real life? Hello, Libya is the best place in the world. Tank designer, I'm already using armor. Might as well get more speed. Where are you? Where Where are you going? <laughs> I mean, they're literally just running around the deserts of Libya. That is wild. Um, I wouldn't want to do that. That's pretty hot. But hey, you know what? When, I guess, technically, us as a Soviet Union, we're just a little bored with what's going on in the world, so... We want to have a little bit of fun down here. Let's grab some of this. Rubber processing, that'll be very useful later on. Industrial technology, that's all good stuff. But what about the Navy? It's 2010, 2011 stuff. Heavy ships. What's... Looking pretty standard, to be honest with you guys. This is all looking very, very standard. Maybe we'll get some battleships, maybe? I mean, we're the Soviet Union, so... Okay! We lost a total of one division, which is obviously not ideal. But it is what it is. And for my first time here, not really realizing that maybe I shouldn't send these people over. Well, it is what it is. KGB? I love the KGB. That's like their family. Oh, no. What's going on down here? Not you guys. Lebanon and Syria. Do we like either one of these guys? Not really. National Salvation versus Popular Will. Ethiopian Famine. Oh, that's not good. Communists Unite in Libya. A victory for the proletariat, but at what cost? And Lebanon is led by Lahoud. Oh, wait. Syria. Assad. Where does he come? Does he come? Does he show up? And how's Libya doing? You need focus tree? Oh, no, not really. That sucks. Stagnating economy, though. All right. Well, let's go and see what we can do next. Increase quotas, remove stagnating economy, and get stagnating economy. What is stagnating economy for us? Devotion to the state, I like that. I love your devotion. Revenue, total union control. Or, yep, communist. Revolutionary socialist, huh? Work monitor, total union control. Putin's KGB. Rampant corruption and stagnating. Oh! Oh, that is not good. Decrease quotas. Soldiers to factories. Hurts us. Not that good, but... Workers in dissident republics. Alright. Divert the workforce. Okay. Focus on agriculture. I kind of like that one. I like this one a lot, though. Hmm. Divert the workforce. More construction speed for everything. Minus 10% consumer goods. Even more factors. I want. I think. Oh, I want to decrease quotas. Let's do that one. We must ease the workload of the Soviet people if we're to resolve this crisis. Decrease the production quotas. So, ship designer. Well, Leningrad Admiralties. Sure, why not? You know, why not? Because I want to build a bigger navy. But hopefully, things will happen here. And the American Republic is looking not too bad. But uh, why don't they? Oh, why? And just New Mexico. Not why. What happened to them? St. Louis is the capital of Illinois. That is... I can't believe I just said that. That makes no sense in my mind. But whatever. Um, UK still exists, so we'll probably do them and Yugoslavia as well. What else are we missing? We need way more APCs like normal. Motorized is... Well, I guess we technically don't have motorized. Well, let's go and do this so we get some more rubber of our own. Can we see, okay, infrastructure levels, as we can see these, that is good. I want to build up a lot of infrastructure all over the place, but I'll probably fix this off screen as well. Totally fine with me. Uh, let's go, boom, boom. We're building some, some civilian factories as well, some military factories. Happy 2012! 2012. 2012. Weird year for me. So, I'm not sure what else is supposed to happen. Are there supposed to be more wars going on? Should we get involved in wars? I have no idea, because we're moving, we're chugging along pretty quickly, but, so, I guess, you know what, let's go through one more focus, and then we'll call it an episode, and then I'll read your comments, and you'll tell me what I should prepare for, or know about, about this mod, or we'll just get through the focus screen and have a good time with Vladdy Daddy here, so, 
the next research will be done within a month, which is less time for this. So with this, I mean, with the path that we want to go, maintain the path is nice and all. Solidify grip around the Europeans, end of Turkey, settle with China, or destroy the... Oh, we get a war with the PRC and Japan? March on Moscow, nation in peril. Putin's union, overthrow the Politburo. Putin's revenge? Or Putin's Russia? Crown Putin as Tsar. I mean, I kind of have to go that way, don't I? Coup in Europe? Well, after that, I think I want to reverse the movement. I'm, I, I just like, I gotta do that. They never suspected it. The bullet of bureaus followed Chairman Putin blindlessly since his rise of power. Now his Soviet movement will be reversed. The days of the Union are numbered, and Putin has a different vision for this nation. But regardless, I hope you enjoyed this very, very first episode of this very, very weird mod. But, like I said, if you enjoyed it, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below if you haven't already, and I'll catch you tomorrow after I read all your comments and learn more about Red World. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.